Frost artist. This week, we are learning about Ted Harrison. You should have watched the video before this one to learn a little bit about him and his artwork. I am going to get started. You are going to need two pieces of white paper. You can use um, paper out of your construction paper pack, or you could use uh, computer paper, it really doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna need scissors and a glue stick. You're also going to need something to color with. You can use crayons. I'm going to use oil pastels and watercolors today, but any of your supplies will work. Crayons, markers, uh, colored pencils, any of it will work. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we are going to make an, a background for our artwork inspired by Ted Harrison's artwork. Now, if we look at these, I notice that he just uses kind of wavy lines. He uses really bright colors. He uses patterns in some. So I think those are the things that I'm going to use in my background. I'm gonna start out with a black oil pastel. You might wanna start out with black crayon, but if you look at his artwork right here, he used green. So you could even do that. Actually, I think I may do that. I'm gonna start out just by making wavy kind of mountain lines. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to use the orange to make my sun, kind of like this one. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and color that in with my oil pastels. That's up to you though. If you want to paint it, that would be perfectly fine too. Now I think I'm going to add, I like how these white dots kind of show the um, snow effect. So I think I, before I paint, I'm going to take my white oil pastel. I'm going to do a wax or I mean a oil resist and I'm going to make some little dots. Now you can't see these because it's white on white paper, but whenever we do a watercolor, then it'll show up. Or if you do um, crayon, a uh, dark color crayon around it, it'll show up too. So I just put some white, white dots and you'll see how that turns out in just a little bit. Okay, now his, uh, his artwork is all really bright colors and that's really what you wanna go for, whatever supply you choose to use. So I'm gonna start out with a dark blue and I'm just gonna get to work. You color yours in however you want to color it in.
Okay, now I have my bright colored background. You can see the white oil pastel popped through when I painted it. Oil pastel works to do that and also crayons work too. If you have a white crayon, you can press down kind of hard and that will work also. Now, take your background, set it to the side. Get another white piece of paper. This time you're gonna need something to draw with um, that is black. I would say a black marker perhaps. Um, let's see if my black marker works. Okay, so whenever we draw this piece, I know that sometimes you have a tendency to draw kind of small, but we don't want to draw small today. We want to draw pretty big. So um, this is going to be about the size. The polar bear that we're drawing is about the size of my hand. So let's see here. It's about, you're going to have about four inches of space at the top. So maybe you just put a little dot, about four fingers. I mean, sorry, not four inches, about four of your fingers. Your hand's probably smaller than mine, so you could probably just put your hand, draw a little dot. Okay, now we're gonna start at the bottom. I'm about two fingers from the bottom. I'm going to do kind of a big rainbow shape for my bear. Just a big rainbow shape. Now we're gonna move on to the bear's face. For his face, I'm going to make, it's kind of an oval shape, but maybe it's like a little bit bigger at the bottom, kind of like an egg shape. Then another horizontal oval for his nose. Another little circle for a highlight. That will be white. The rest will be filled in black. Then we're gonna do a vertical line down and finish it off with a smile come right to the sides of his uh, this part of his nose we're going to do an eye there and fill it in and then you'll do another over here and fill it in Hey, he's starting to look a bit like a bear. Now, polar bears have really small ears. They don't have big ears, so we're gonna do a little U, fill it in, and then you're gonna do another little U, or another little rainbow. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. A little U shape or a little rainbow shape, fill it in. And then another one on top. Now look how cute our polar bear is looking. But he needs to have some arms. So we're gonna start right over here. Um, right below, you know, it's gonna be below his nose. And I'm gonna start on the edge. I'm gonna come down, curve, and come back up. Do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna start on the edge, come down, curve, back up. Now, our polar bear needs some details. Polar bears have sharp claws so that they can catch fish to eat. So I'm gonna add his sharp claws. Then you also want to fill in his nose. The marker I have for that, it's not, it's not very good. The thin marker is not very good. It takes a long time to do it. So I'm just gonna kind of do the best I can for right now. And then I'll come back with a, when I get a big Sharpie, I'll come back and fill it in. Hot 
watching. It's just shading it just a little bit with hatch marks or straight lines. Now then, all the way over here, we need to do the side of his body. Now, our polar bear is finished. So we want to take our scissors, cut our polar bear out. Bring your colorful background back. Then you're going to use glue. Turn your polar bear over. You only need to glue right around the edge. You don't need to fill the whole polar bear with glue. I'll get a little bit on his ears. But I'm just doing one little strip around the edge. That will do it. A little bit will do it. Then I'm going to pull my background over here. And I am going to put my polar bear right there in the middle. Look at that. What a beautiful piece. I hope you had fun creating this.